I get quite a lot of people asking me how I ground up my HDPE plastic for all my recycling projects. It's a bit of a long story, but maybe interesting, so let's take a look. I had an old Spong meat mincer that I picked up at a charity shop. My first idea was to motorise it using my electric drill and the chain and sprockets from a scrap bike. It worked, well, sort of. It was quite prone to jamming, so I had to think of something else. My next plan was to add a big flywheel made of OSB. That worked okay, I turned it by hand using a crank fitted on the other side. But it was really, really awkward and quite hard work to use. For all of these methods, by the way, I still had to cut up the plastic into smallish pieces, or the mincer would just jam or clog. I would have to take it apart to clear it. Finally, I decided to try powering it with my drill press. I mounted the mincer on a board, used the mechanism of an old hand drill to make a makeshift gearbox, and also to translate the rotation of the vertical drill shaft onto the horizontal axis of the mincer. And this worked. It was still prone to occasional jamming, and I still had to cut up its food for it, but this way I managed to process quite large amounts of material. You might be asking at this stage why I didn't just use a blender or a paper shredder. Well, I tried those. The blender just spun the plastic round without breaking it up. The paper shredder wasn't tough enough for the task and the slippery plastic got between the blades and ruined the machine. I even tried a shredding device that was designed for grinding up credit cards. But nope, HDPE is too slippery and tough. So it just got itself jammed into the mechanism and destroyed the machine. So I kept on with my drill powered, drill powered mincer. I put a plastic bag on the output because the grinding of the plastic tends to give it a static charge and it would fly off and stick to everything. I eventually hit on the idea of cutting off the bottom of the bag so it could just empty straight into the bucket. My plan was to use all this plastic to make a load of hexagonal plates, then seam weld them together into large sheets and use this material to skin a wooden boat frame. Ultimately the project failed. Seam welding HDPE is a nearly impossible task for an amateur. Although I do have some new ideas on how I might still make a recycled plastic boat, so maybe one day. The other interesting thing is that really you don't actually need to grind up HDPE this much to recycle it. Just cutting it into smallish flakes actually works just fine. So I hope that's answered a few questions as well as given you a chance to laugh at my weird attempts at engineering a plastic grinder. If you found this interesting, please do consider subscribing as there will be some more plastic recycling videos soon. Thanks for watching.